My name is Brother JD. I started L. Ray's Garage in my own backyard years ago. I knew it then, and I know it now. There are thousands of people that build awesome rides right from their own homes. That true artistic innovation takes place in the backyards of our great nation. Time to give real builders a chance to show off what they put their heart and soul into. And at the same time, give a little bit back to charity. A celebration of the Blue Collar Nation. A show for the people, by the people. Welcome to Wrench Wars. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wrench Wars. Be My name is Alex Carlos. I'm from City of Bell. I've been working on cars since I was a kid. Building custom cars, hot rods, that to me, that's what I like. Ever since I was a kid, everybody go out partying, go drinking. I didn't know why anything with that. I wanted to build my car. I brought my car, this is what I got. I stand by what I built, so it is what it is. My name's Steve Proyos. My nickname is Dirty Steve. I'm from Whittier, California. I've been working on cars for over 25 years. Working on cars is a big thing for me. I have a five-year-old son, we call him Dirty Junior, and he's in the garage with me wrenching every day. I saw the competitor's car, it's a really nice car. Now I'm excited to be here because it's a, a way to showcase my work that I, I put a lot of blood and sweat and everything into that car, and I love that car, it's a lot of sentimental value. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rich One! All right, all right, all right. So here we are, let's meet the contenders for tonight's bout. In the red corner. He's repping the city of Whittier, California with his 1954 Chevrolet. I give you Dirty Steve! All right, all right, all right. He's playing for the LA Union Mission, a good one. Tonight we're gonna to be playing for the LA Mission Charity. It's to help feed and shelter the homeless in LA. Fighting out of the blue corner. Repping the city of Bell, California with his also 1954 Chevrolet. I give you Alex Carlos! <laughs> playing for St. Jude's Children's Hospital, another good one. I'm playing for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. It's rough for a kid to go through that stuff. They should be out playing, messing around, hiding, doing stuff, not being sick in a hospital. Tonight's Tale of the Tape is brought to you by our good friends at Roof King, Southern California's top roofer. We have a mega bout tonight with a couple of heavy hitters. Two 1954 Chevy four-doors battle it out. Will it be more money and more time or less money and no time that takes home that belt? Here we go. The rules of Wrench Wars are simple. In rounds one and two, just persuade the judges that the work you did on your ride is better than that of your opponent. Round three is a head-to-head -head competition that challenges those garage skills. This round is worth as much as one and two put together. Good luck, contenders. Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to meet the esteemed judges for tonight. She's a metal master with customs and hot rods. She shaves door handles, peaks hoods. She's the owner of Dame Customs from the San Gabriel Valley. I give you the one and the only, Sonia Cerventi. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the center position, he started at the age of nine years old with his first lowrider bicycle. Not only a master craftsman of traditional chop tops and customs, but a huge giver of his time and talents to teach the next generation, the owner and operator of Lords of Customs in South Los Angeles, California, Mr. Jesse Castillo! That's right. And that's not all. On the end, ladies and gentlemen, he's a newly retired sprint car racer. He also has years of experience as an off-road racer with Baja Bugs and a true performance junkie that still builds his own rides at home just like the rest of us. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the one and only Bob Ornament. That's right, that's right. You know what we say at Wrench Wars, if you ever get a chance to eat a taco, eat a taco. We'll be right back after this. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for round one? All right. That's what we do for round one. We've got a prize package attached to it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you joy to the world. Joy, bring it on out here. What do we have, sister? Oh, yeah. What do we have? What do we have? All these things you see here are from cool people 
around the nation to send us stuff as prize packages. We thank all of you. We got from 5150 right here. When you're crazy about going for your dreams, you're 5150. There you go. Our couple sets of shades from our good friends at Crown Sunglasses right out of San Pedro. We got from AG Auto Works, Volkswagen right out of Oxnard, a couple t-shirts. We got right here from Sacrifice. These guys are actually veterans. They started a company, little clothing line, Sacrifice. This is all American Sacrifice for the vets. This right here is from Psycho Zombies, my boys down in Orange County. Psycho Zombies, we appreciate it. Big Scotty Stopnik, we appreciate you. Man, you guys are going home with a brand new wardrobe tonight. One of you is going to take it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the prize package for round number one. All right, you know the way we do it here at Wrench Wars. Round one is everything about the outside of the car. It's all about the backyard builder, the guy that did it himself. So, according to the coin toss, I believe you won the toss. Yes. And you decided to first. go first. The war of the four doors, let me tell you. Here we go. Judges, are you ready? Ready. He's got one minute to tell us everything he's done to the outside of that car. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, on the back! All right, that's on the front. 56 Chevy front bumper with Chevy bumper bolts. Added tips to the grill. Five stock, 21. Nice bumper. 56 on little, 56 on little headlight bezels. Pontiac side trim, shorn, 11 inches. 55 Chevy front fender flares, mounted three inches lower. Give me that Cadillac Nash look. Functional lake pipes. Functional. 210 Bel Air tr side trim instead of the square. Yeah. One. French antenna, Pontiac shark fin on the side. 55 Buick tail lights. Nice. 55 Chevy. Rear bumper, also shaped bumper bolts. 4 Chevy Ore Rider. And yeah, I think that's it. Oh, skirts. The, we got the skirts. We got the skirts. It. And I forgot. Peak hood. Peak? Three. The hood. Two, that's true, right? One. The hood, that's going to be peaked. That's it, round one. All right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, Dirty Steve, you got one minute. You ready, buddy? Oh, yeah. All right. On the bed. All right, I have late 70s, period correct Kragers, functioning side pipes all the time. Uh, chop four in the front, chop seven in the back. I did it all myself in four days. Functioning wing windows that are chopped. Let's see, what else do I have? Air ride. I have 50 uh, Dodge tail light sections, uh, fifth wheel kit. Uh, what else do I have in here? 63 Falcon hood scoop turned backwards. What year is this? 63 Ford Falcon hood scoop. I'll mold it in. I did everything in four days too, not three years. I'm just saying. All four doors function properly. I'm in the middle of it, but come on, guys, for four days. Not, not too bad, bad. Four days. not too bad. It has original patina. The name of the car is Patina Marie or please. Either one, it's all good. Uh, everything's a bone stock in the front. No extra teeth, nothing to hide. And what else? Well, I don't need to say more. It's a better car. What's on the bottom? Stainless? What is that? That yeah, is stainless trim factory. Has a 210 trim. Factory? All right! Round one! Coming to a close! You know, I gotta say, it's tough because both cars are still under construction. They're projects, man. So they are both got their pluses and minuses. You know how we do it. Wrench Wars, Sonya, ladies first. What you got for these guys? Uh, Alex, the front wheel wells, where, what are those off of? 55 Chevy Bel Air. And the, uh, the headlights are 56 old? Yes. You did that all yourself? Uh, the headlights, I did not do. I had a friend come over, help me where to cut, how to do it, and there's nothing for He did the cuts, tacked it back on, and I finished it. Is that TIG or MIG welded? MIG welded. Okay, that's good. You're real good for MIG welded. How long, was, uh, how long did it take you to get the car to go going from? Uh, the chop, the roof scoop, and fifth wheel kit, and the lights I did in four days. Four days. I, I worked on it right up until I came here. Nice. Uh, the car I've had for about six to eight years. Okay. Wood corner. Really nice car. When you do something like that, do you sit down and do a plan? Do you copy something? What do you come out with? You got a lot, a lot of modifications on that car. I've had the car for 15 years. Wow. And it's gone through many changes. Looking back, I've done some stuff that I was wondering why I did that. And it just keeps evolving with my taste, it evolves. You just and keep changing it up, changing it up, now. getting it to where it's going to be. Very nice. Good job. Good. Four days. Yeah. So you didn't lay the windshield post back? No. Windows go straight up, you don't have to yes, feel sir. that. There's no pie cuts in the corners. No nothing. pie cuts. And yes, then sir. the back the back windows, 
do we do we pie that down to get uh, the, the, the the back window is actually 49 to 52 Chevy sedan. Uh, slid it forward about six inches. Uh, cut off the belt line trim. Slid everything forward. And what was your inspiration? What was your plan for that? You just the sorry. winter inch wars. Yeah, there you go. He wants right the on. belt, man. I want the belt. Yeah. That belt's coveted, man. Woo Ladies and gentlemen, I tell you, let's find out what these judges think right after these messages. We'll be right back at Richmond. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Richmond. All right, gentlemen, tough decision. Here we go. Moment of truth, round one. Who's going to get all the swagnature on the bench over there? It's going to be Steve, it's going to be Alex. Judges, how do you see it? And we got a red. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve in the red corner, round one. Round one, I killed it. Going into round two, I might lose it, I might not. Either way, my car still shoots bigger sparks than his, so it's cool. You got me on first round, but once I pop the hood, I'm pretty sure I'll get second. This is round two, boys. Round one with Steve, Dirty Steve in the red corner. Time to come back for blue corner right here round two. Only way to do it is to persuade these judges all the stuff that you've done on the inside of the car this time. Motor, engine, trans, rear end, dash, electrical, anything you guys can think that, hey, I did that. Y'all want to see what you're playing for? Yes, sir. Let's see what you're playing for. Ladies and gentlemen, let's check out that prize package. Joy to the world, read on Hey, come on ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, what we have here, bring batteries back to life from wherever you roam with this Pro-Z heavy-duty portable power station driven by a self-contained 12-volt, 26-amp-hour rechargeable lead-acid battery. The Pro-Z portable power station is above and beyond any traditional generator. A 260 PSI high-flow air compressor. That comes in handy right there. With 99 PSI digital pressure gauge and three 5-volt, 2100 milliamp USB ports. USB ports. You know you like that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from Auto Anything, right here, the Pro-Z Hercules Vehicle Jump Starter for round two. All right, round two, this is the way it works. You're going first this time, Steve. Dirty Steve up, round two. Yeah, there's no sense dilly down. Let's get up, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, brothers and sisters, round two begins on the bell. All right, starting up front, I have a 1958 Chevy Corvette Blue Flame 6. Oh, pop it open. All rebuilt. Yeah, pop it open. Pop it open. I'm in We're the middle of in the middle of rewiring it with all cloth wrap uh, period correct wiring. It's been converted to 12 volt split manifold. I welded myself uh, out to functioning side pipes. On the interior, it has swivel bucket seats out of a late 70s to mid 70s uh, uh, Dodge. Swivel bucket. Yes. Sir. And also, uh, I have uh, all TIG welded three link rear suspension. Uh, notch the frame. It has a uh, Universal Air 2600 PSI bags. You did it yourself? Yes, I did. Everything I've done on this car is myself with the help of my buddy Danny and my buddy Louie. All dirty built. Single uh, compressor, dual compressor. I have dual wires. I have all half inch valves. It's all valve for the front. I just didn't get time to put the bags in the front. Um, what else do you guys need to know? Uh, stock back seats have been sectioned underneath for the tunnel so it lays flat, doesn't raise up on you when you are nice. up in it. Functioning okay. side pipes. Yeah. Uh, hidden stereo behind the radio. Right, round two for Dirty Steve. No sense dilly dally, we might as well stay right here, I guess. Time for the blue corner to show his stuff. Alex, you ready, buddy? Yep. Everything on the inside of that car. On the bell! See what you got. Most like two for an end. Wanna open that hood? Yeah. No, make sure the inside first. Okay. Ah. There we go. He's going pretty for much interior. Just... Pretty much stock. Stock steering column, stock shifter. Well, my thing to Fernand, like I said, I saved all of that. The only thing that's not stock is the gauges and the pedals. Pedals. Well, race car pedals. Why race, race car, car pedals on a car, like on a car like this? Or both. And we're here. Yeah. Hood popper. Oh. Oh. What is it? It's a 5.3 out of an 08. Out of 08. 08 Tahoe. Keep going. 4060E. Like I said, the shifter is made to work with the 4060E yeah. on a stock shifter. Mechanism. Wow. Nothing to Fernand. Went to a stock steering column. I mean, clean, simple, 21 miles a gallon, more than enough power to blow anything off the road. Functional yeah. driver. driver. Suspension. Mustang 2, 4 link in the rear, 12 volt rear end. Woo! Big round, big round. I say it's time for judge questionnaire. Question and answer time, show and tell. Sonia, 
What you got, sis? Talk to these boys. When did you swap out your motor? What did you have before to in comparison to now? I already, I already built the stock six cylinder. Horrible, with some money. I got a 350, did that for a while. It wasn't spending special. I got a 5.3, best thing I ever did. Steve, what do you got in yours? Mine's a 58 Corvette, Blue Flame 235, rebuilt nice. it. It's pretty much bone stock, it's 30 over. Okay, your uh, four link, did you do that to that? Exactly. You done? It's a three link, I did it all three myself. Three link, okay. Time joints, TIG welded. Okay. I can dip corners to 70 and have a stock front. Yeah, it's really nice. That's a yeah, nice, that's a nice setup. I saw nice. that. And I can drag and shoot sparks 30 feet down the freeway at 75 miles an hour. What kind of front end? What do you got? Tuber control arms? What is it? Is it a tuber Mustang control arms? Tube? Yeah, A arms. A arms Mustang tube? Yeah. Nice. 10 bolt rear end? 12 bolt rear end. 12 bolt? Right on. Nice. That Corvette motor, uh, that six cylinder, a lot of torque. Torque motor? Pretty torque you off the line. Yeah. And, uh, three speed? No, it's a, automatic. actually a cast iron power glide factory. Two speed oh, automatic. Power slide? Yeah, slip right and slide. On. Boat anchor. Four door war right there. That's yeah, a four door is, war. Man. Any more questions? Y'all ready? No. We're going to find out who wins round two right after this old rich one! <laughs> Welcome back to Rich Wars, everybody. I got to tell you, we're honored and glad you guys came to the cage today with these four doors. Different in their own way. It's all good. I think it's time for judge time. Round two, judges. How do you find? Red or blue? What do I see? What do I see? I got red. I got red. Wow. I got blue on the end. Two blues. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Blue corner takes round two. Here we go. All right. Good job, guys. All right, all right. I'm not surprised. Everyone thinks it's a typical four door. So you open the hood and you see what's actually sitting underneath the hood. It's a 5.3 Vortec motor. It gets great gas mileage, tons of power. What more do you want in the car? You did a good job. This conversion is really nice. I'm not really into the modern motors on old cars, but it's a really clean conversion. You did a good job. I tell you what, it's been a great bout. Tied up right now. One round apiece. We're in the third round. This is how it's going to work. First thing you got to do is you're going to have to go to your toolbox. You both have the same toolbox right there. You go to your toolbox and you take out the hand pump. You gotta take this fluid and get it over in this jug, okay? As soon as that teeter-totter gets enough in it and it goes the next thing, you can fly off of this thing. I'll get rid of it. Then, this is what you do. You grab a tool, you come on over to this thing. All you gotta do is take this off and take this off. Underneath this right here is your key. The key is gonna go into that ignition switch. Underneath this right here, you got all the wiring that you need. All you gotta do is wire that ignition switch to that headlight switch, to that high beam, low beam switch. Let's see, blue corner, come on over here, blue corner right here. Red corner right there. Before we start this round, let's see what George of the World, George of the World, what do you have, sister? I'll tell you what, hang on, oh my, it's getting crazy. <laughs> Tough stuff, black chrome alternator. Easy to install, one wire performance alternator. This is Cleveland Chrome, not Chinese Chrome. Tough stuff has made it shine since 1979. Always brand new, never rebuilt. Not only do they have this slick black chrome finish style, but they also have cast, chrome, polished, powder coated finishes too. These are available from quality distributors coast to coast. Many thanks to Tough Stuff for sending us this killer alternate. Tough Stuff, we thank you, we thank you Tough Stuff out of Cleveland, Ohio. Also, here we have one of my favorite brands, PB Blaster. Anybody that works around nasty old rusted parts like I do knows about this stuff. Just spray a bunch on rusted fasteners, let it soak for a few minutes. As a unique capillary action that creeps up rusted nuts and bolts. Born in Cleveland, Ohio, it attacks rust from all angles. It's been around since 1957. Many thanks to PB Blaster. Thank you, thank you, out of Cleveland, Ohio. All right. All right. So, before we begin, do you have any questions, gentlemen? Nope. Joy to the world, you got your hammer ready. Ladies and gentlemen, round three begins on the bell. Here we go, here we go. Do not kick the ramps, don't kick the ramps. That's all I ask, don't kick the ramps. I'll get right here, make sure that things don't fly. Those things blow one way. Yes, they do. These things are tricky, man. You start getting a rhythm, you start figuring it out, you're like, okay, I got this thing. They're getting close, we're getting close to a teeter here. You can go on to the next move. 
Go on to the next move. Good, good. Right neck and neck, boys. There's neck and neck over there. Neck and neck. Who's going to take that belt? Who's going to light that light? The four-door war is rocking, but somebody going to say good night. We'll be right back. Alex going for his third fastener. Steve got the top off, got the key out. We got three fasteners out on this side and the key out. All right, there's the wire, and he's got the wire, and he's ready to go. Steve's right behind him. Steve's going for manhandle method. Steve's at the wire. All right, here we go. Both of them right beside each other. I tell you what, it's not easy. These wires are not color coded. Maybe you're that guy that goes home and you say, man, I wish I would have taken that wiring class so I could wire up my dash. But no, these guys right here, they've done wire. I didn't make it easy. I wanted it to be hard because I didn't want to make it easy on you fellas. And that's what we're up to right now. First guy that gets light to a headlight, high beam and low beam. Not just one, you gotta have both. This is a tight challenge and it's not easy. Let me tell you, these boys right now are sweating. Fingers are starting to twitch. There's a high beam and low beam! Hey, good one. Oh, that was a good round, man. Good round, oh, good, good round. I built this car by myself in the garage and just to win something with something that I built, that I created, means a lot. It was a really good competition. It was kind of neck and neck. I killed it on the appearance outside. Of course, it's a dirty built car, Dirty Steve. Along with Danny and Louie, we did a good job on the car in our garage. But, you know, it was a good competition. Really want to say a special thanks right now to uh, sponsors, Martyr Custom Cycle out of Arizona, Blaster out of Ohio, Deluxe Sunglasses right out of San Pedro, Tough Stuff out of Ohio, Bowen's Whiskey right out of Bakersfield, AG Auto Works, Oxnard, California, right there, Dogtown, Venice, California, right there, Auto Anything out of San Diego, California, Roof King out of San Diego, California, 5150, right there, right out of Oxnard, and right there, Homer Cuts Groom Kid, right out of here, Los Angeles, California. I want to thank all of you, all of you, thank you, because without you, there is no wrench war, so thank you. All right, everybody, come on down, let's do this, come on down. If you built your ride in the backyard, in your home shop, what to do? Bring it to the cage! Oh yeah!